Hello friends and welcome to lot of tech once again and today it will be another video on android home screen customization and I am going to call this a dark setup because mostly all the wallpapers I have used in this video are grey and black and I have kept in mind that the setup is really very minimalistic and it is really battery efficient and it is not going to affect your phone's performance. Apart from that I have used Nova Launcher and Super Widget Pro for implementing all these home screens and as usual the download links for various applications various Zupa templates and all the high definition wallpapers will be there in the description i have been really posting a lot uh, on these android home screen setups on my instagram during last couple of weeks so for those of you who haven't joined me on my instagram then definitely do that and you will really get uh, a lot of new ideas and all the home screens that i'm sh going to show you today are really my originals so without wasting any time let's quickly begin with the video So I'll begin this video by first of all making some changes to the Nova Launcher settings and these settings are going to remain common throughout the video. So first of all you need to go into your settings and then into your desktop and here you need to select a grid size of 6x6 and 6x6 is going to remain common throughout the video. Apart from that uh, you need to uh, then go into the icon size and there you need to select icon size of 90% and you also need to keep your labels turned off so that all your home screen setups looks really very neat and clean. Once you have done that just go into the look and feel section and go into icon theme and here you need to select icon theme called uh, lines free icon pack and lines free icon pack is available in two different colors one is the black one and the other one is the white one and the white one is called lines free icon pack you will have the link in the description so uh, select lines free icon pack for the entire video once you have selected the icon pack just move back and scroll down a bit and here you need to check the show notification bar unchecked and transparent notification bar checked and uh, these are important settings so make sure you uh, definitely do that now once again you need to go into your desktop settings scroll down a bit and keep the widget overlap setting checked and also the overlap and placing option checked now uh, because we are going to place a lot of widgets one over the other so make sure you keep these two settings checked and now you have uh, just completed now we have just completed uh, the changes or the settings in the nova launcher so the first uh, setup that we are going to implement is this one and here we are going to use super widget pro along with trident 2 template so we will begin the setup by first of all applying the wallpaper the download link for the wallpaper will be there in the description so you need not worry about that and once you have applied the wallpaper just tap on the home screen go into the widgets and select a super widget of size 4x1 and align it with the top of your phone and once you have done that just use the resizing feature and uh, align the widget on the home screen as uh, I am doing it right now now just tap on this widget and from here you need to select trident 2 uh, template pack and once you have selected trident 2 template pack then you just need to scroll down a little bit and from here you need to select bubble bar template. You can apply the template by simply tapping onto it and then you need to go to your home screen and use the resizing feature to bring the template at the desired position and you may also be requiring to use the scaling feature to increase or decrease the size of the template. So I am not really satisfied with the design of the template because it has this weather pack I mean the weather icon on the right and the, and the time on the left. So what I will be doing is that uh, I will be just removing these two and you can also see that originally the uh, home screen that I have shared on my Instagram also does not contain the weather and the time. So I will be making some very basic changes so just tap on the template go into the layout and here you need to figure out the component which contains date and time. So as you can see that it is the um, somewhere in the last so I'll just just check this go into the edit and I'll be just removing the uh, date part and uh, let me tell you that uh, for those who feel that super widget and editing this element is very complicated you can use the widget as it is to not get into the complications of uh, you know making uh, editing and making changes to it but let me tell you it's really very simple just go into that particular component go into the edit and from here I'll be removing the date part so I mean the time because I am using a separate widget for time so there is no point that time is written twice so as you can see that once you just simply remove the time and you will see that the changes will be uh, taking effect in real time and uh, after you have removed the time just go into 
uh, your layout once again go at the at the last and here you will find scalable icon set just check on this and instead of going into the edit just delete so once you will hit delete let me just show you once again just keep a check on this instead of editing just hit delete and you will see that that particular weather icon will be removed from your uh, widget and it will appear as it is as i have shown on my uh, instagram so after you have placed the battery bar or the bubble bar just tap on the screen once again and select a super widget of size one by one and place it on your home screen once you have done that just stretch this a little bit and make it of a desired size and then you need to tap on it once again and select trident 2 once you have selected trident 2 just scroll down a little bit and here you will find this very beautiful and modern looking vanish clock that is just going to blend with the kind of wallpaper we have used just tap on this widget once again and here we'll be, uh, we will be again using the scaling feature to increase or decrease the size of the widget as per our requirement. So now the original widget that I have shared on my Instagram, let me first show you that. So here you will see that it contains this kind of a blue line between the hour and the minutes. But the widget that we have uh, configured right now contains uh, this kind of a white line. So uh, we can actually edit that. So just go into the layout once again and uh, figure out uh, what component of the widget is actually this line. So this is second from the top. So just go check that particular component, go into the edit and you can actually change the color from this option let me tell you that if you feel that this is really too much complicated for you you can use the widget with the white line as well I'm going to just take this video a little bit further here you will see that we have actually these white page indicators here at the bottom so we can also actually change these page indicate page indicators as uh, within blue color so let me show you that from where uh, you can actually change the color so just go into the desktop scroll down a little bit and here you will find this page indicator and below that you have the colors to change the uh, the page indicator as well so it does not uh, actually depend it actually depends on what is your requirement and to what extent you are actually able to uh, make editing to your uh, home screen so friends this now completes our first test widget and let us just quickly move on to the second one so this is the second home screen that we are going to implement and we will be using Zuper Widget Pro along with Stun Zuper 4 template pack. So we will quickly begin this video by first of all applying the wallpaper and starting off with a blank home screen. So just tap on the screen, go into the widgets and select a Zuper Widget of size 4x1 as we have done previously and place it on your home screen. Once you have done that, just use the resizing feature and make the widget spread across your display and uh, uh, I mean you need to just adjust the widget as I am doing it right now then you need to then you need to just tap on the widget and select 10 super 4 icon pack uh, not the icon pack I mean the template pack and here you will find this beautiful widget in green and black color uh, you will be needing to use uh, the scaling feature to spread the widget across your phone and I think this is one of the most simplest home screen that I have ever made and the code the quality of the home screen is that it contains some very basic things like the date time battery percentage and it matches up so much well with the wallpaper that it's i think one of the most modern looking and looking home screen that you can implement with very little effort so friends this now completes our second home screen and uh, just place the, uh, the icons one by one onto the left part of your uh, home screen because i think that is the best place where it is suits uh, according to uh, the widget as well as the wallpaper so friends this now completes the video and uh, i think the length of the video is going a little bit longer because of a lot of explanation uh, but i think uh, you got the idea of how i have implemented these home screen and the remaining home screen i'll be sharing uh, very quickly in part two of the video so friends do give a like to the video and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching lot of tech